Michael Self just about there. Look at how he gobbles up the 18, outbreaking him going into the first turn. Right there on the inside, it's a very narrow exit off of turn one. It narrows up here in the old scoring lane, turn two. Man, he got to his door, but let him through. A heated battle now for first. 13 laps in. Ties Four front end washed out again there. 14. Right around that will be the first race break, the only race break in this race. Michael Self, what's he going to do here? Will he go after him? I made the move to the inside. He said, I need the inside position on the West Horseshoe. Try me in the outside if you want. And Self's doing just that. Through the cake, side by side here. Michael Self, will he get position here? Tough way around this one. Can't do it right there. But he is outside in all over the back bumper of that Monster Energy number 18 for Ty Gibbs. Michael Self wants the road course win. He also wants the lead when we approach the halfway point here in just a lap. Setting up in wide and six to exit off the bottom onto the onto the high banks of NASCAR one. Gibbs had a great drive off though. Here we go, side by side on the high banks of Daytona for the lead. He's got it. He's got the run here. But Ty Gibbs always very strong down the back stretch here. I've been watching that car from the Sioux Chief onboard camera for Michael Self. Side by side for the lead on the road course of Daytona. They almost trade paint down the back stretch. Ty got awfully close to the outside safer barrier as well on the back stretch. Now having to roll it down. This is where Ty made the bold move early. He'll still stay by side by side in the bus stop. Thad Moffitt slower car. He's going to be a factor in this one as well. Ty used up Self there to get through the bus stop. Michael Self back to the bottom around the high banks, turns three and four traditionally of the tri-oval at Daytona before heading into turns 13 and 14. You gotta woe the car down here big time. Thad Moffitt moves out of the way, side by side into the one of the most difficult parts of the race course at Daytona. Ty poured it in there. Can he make the turn? Can Self stay even? They're banging again off the final turn to determine who's gonna lead this lap. Great racing to the stripe. Who's going to get it here on lap 14? Will Michael Self lead? Oh, no, it's Ty Gibbs right now, still with the lead here at the halfway point in this race. At or around lap 14, we're on lap 15, so perhaps this is the run to the halfway break, the race break here. We're staying green. Great Michael action off the window. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. Suchi, thank you for this onboard camera. Wow, great battle between Ty Gibbs and Michael Self, the young gun and the veteran, 29-year-old Michael Self. He says he feels like an old guy in the Arca Menard series now. He's, teach, he's taught a number of drivers. We mentioned Mike Cope Racing. Ty Gibbs has raced for Mike Cope Racing, but Michael Self has not been his direct coach. So they're trying to apply what they learned together here with that top-notch Trans Am TA2 team based out of Florida. Oh, man, listen to that. Downshift, downshift, downshift. Michael now is trying to prepare for another run on Ty Gibbs here by downshifting earlier in that corner. Just listen to how technical Michael Self and his driving is. Trouble for Ty Gibbs. Ty Gibbs goes up in the corner, opens the door. The Red Seas are parted for Michael Self. He's to the lead at Daytona. 